My name is Dave Tachura. I'm the head brewer at Oscar Blues Brewery in Longmont, Colorado. Um, we're in the Tasty Weasel, which is our tap room at the production brewery here at the uh, corner of Sunset and Pike. We've been planning this for several months now, and uh, we are canning up uh, the first batch of the Gubna, which is our Imperial IPA, and a uh, first ever style for us, and, de and definitely the uh, first Imperial IPA I know of going into a can. It started out back in the beginning of November 2009 and uh, we were talking about getting a, another beer into the lineup to replace the 1050 as a seasonal. So we decided to uh, relegate the 1050 to strictly seasonal status from October through, uh, through February and we wanted to get another seasonal to take the rest of the year. So there was uh, pretty much a, a, just a random skeleton thrown together uh, of what we wanted this beer to be. Distinguish it from all of our other beers in color, flavor, aroma, use hops and maybe some other ingredients that we don't use in our, in our other beers and to uh, have it be worthy of a four pack uh, which generally means you know, we have two other brands that we do in four packs and these are high alcohol beers. Um, there are a lot more ingredients involved in them. They, you know, they, they definitely command a higher price. We sell them in four packs to uh, meter them out. Uh, it's sort of like having two bomber bottles of beer in, uh, in a four pack in a much more convenient package for such a big alcohol beer. We talked about it for a few weeks about you know kind of what we would like to see, what we want in a uh, in an imperial IPA, what we like in other people's IPAs, and what do we want to do ourselves that makes it unique. And then we came up with a recipe, and, and uh, it's been the most focused release of a new beer that we've ever had. Pretty much, as soon as you crack the can open, you're going to smell hops if you're anywhere near it. We call it a pungent citrus blast uh, of aroma. And I think it lives up to it. Pretty much carries through the flavor as well. At the same time, you, you, with all this aroma and flavor you're getting from the hops. A lot of people were expecting to be exceptionally bitter and it's really not. Most people have remarked how uh, drinkable it actually is and, and they're kind of bracing themselves for this big bitterness that they're expecting to come but it kind of just really tails off really nicely and blends with the flavor of the malts that we have in there which are uh, pretty simple just some some Munich malt and some rye malt in there as well gives it a really nice slick mouth feel. We're going for the hoppiest beer in a can so I think I think we've done it. <laughs>